1978, we were in Europe, and on the way back, for the first time, they had actual headphones instead of just those tubes. And so he was pretty excited about that because he said, oh my God, thank God, finally something that might sound, you know, decent and uh, put them on and realized that, well, with these things on your ears, the sound from the airplane was, came in much, much more. And he was very disappointed. Uh, so he took out a pad and pen and started writing equations. <laughs> By the time we reached Boston, he had a concept which he thought um, might work. It took over 15 years before we were able to make the concept work. And during that period, there were many people in the company who would say, why are you wasting your time on this technology? The concept that you could cancel sound with sound <laughs> was the most ridiculous. It's like putting somebody on the moon for me, right? I said, do you know how much money we've spent on this? $50 million, and I'll never forget his response. He said, $50 million? If this was a publicly traded company, I would have been fired years ago. We made a version for first in business class on American Airlines. The customer feedback was spectacular. This just launched the company to the next level. 